Um, so one of the things that should be noted if you fly into Cancun in particular, and I learned this, um, learned this the hard way. In any case, when you arrive, after you've gone through customs and you have received your bags, you will exit through a main corridor. Um, there are people there standing, lots of people standing around. And there, of course, there are people who are hawking the rent-a-car place. Come rent-a-car, rent-a-car. If you've already got your shuttle, you don't need to rent a car. And you can also take a taxi to wherever you're going. The prices are still very, fairly decent. In any case, if you go up to someone and they say, oh, let me see your transfer paper, and you show them, oh, I'm looking for Kogo Travel or whoever, they may say, oh, over here. And they'll point you to a person who you think is going to help you. This person's job is to lure you in to a timeshare. I realized what was going on. I basically said like, I'm not interested in seeing a timeshare. And he said, yeah, but look, if you give me $40 now, we'll give it back to you and we'll pick you up at your resort. We'll bring you to this resort here in Cancun. We'll feed you breakfast. And then after a short presentation, we'll give you free tickets to Isla de Mujeres, which I thought, okay, so I give you a deposit. You give me all my money back. Plus we get we were supposed to get like a free purse and a bottle of liquor or something else. So I thought, well, whatever. So we scheduled it on the second day we were in Mexico, not the first full day, but the second day. It was a heck of an adventure. Um, the breakfast was very good. The breakfast was really the good. The resort they showed us was beautiful. They did their spiel. I was getting a little late in the day for me. So I started just saying like, I'm done. I need to go. I would like my tickets to Isla de Mujeres. So what you have to do for time shares? Yeah. You just tell them you're done. It's like it's like a video game. You have to go through levels of bosses until you get to the final one. Like, okay, we beat you. Mm -hmm. Give us our tickets. Time yep. to go. They drop us off at the marina to go to Isla Mujeres. And it was supposed to be like this glass bottom boat, but I guess since we didn't buy the package, that's not what we got. It was a bit of a hellish adventure. It... I'm gonna get into it. it was oh it was very weird. I'm, my favorite part of the trip was just getting the free bags. That that was my favorite bags part of the have trip. Been very useful. With the bags, but they get us on this little boat, and they're just speeding through the water. It's not even like a nice ride. They're speeding through it, and then the first thing they did was take us snorkeling, and it didn't give us that much time to even be in the water for snorkeling. It felt like jump in, go down, see the statue down there, and now get out. We're going somewhere else now wet and it was hot and we had two hours to explore which really isn't that much time uh, once you kind of get in there and we were hungry again at that point so we we wandered for a bit um, we ate some food and then we made yeah. our way back to the dock then they drove us in a boat to another to, to place another. which was supposed to be um, very relaxing and then we were supposed to have like a dinner it was all provided for but we're looking at our watch and I'm thinking I just want to go back to the resort um, again we're still really like wet just kind of ended up being wet all day which is very uncomfortable and um, I just went up to the guy and said hey can we get a ride back we'd like to go back and yeah, we so we jumped on a boat with a different group got back and the people did keep their promise they did still provide us a, a driver that took mm -hmm. us all the way back to our resort. Um, would I do it again? Mm, no. no. Would I and go back to Isla Mujeres on a different trip? Yes. 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 Oh, the dive, the dive. It was beautiful. I wanted to spend more time in the water. Yeah. And the first time that I went out to Isla de Mujeres, I took a very nice boat with my family and we saw all sorts of stuff in the water and then we went out to the dolphin sanctuary and it was very calm and beautiful this trip was 
not that at all. And by the way, this is like the third timeshare. This is the third timeshare we have done, right? I think so. Yeah, this is the third timeshare we've done and uh, maybe if we would have done it and got something different. If you're there for two weeks, up to two weeks or more, try a timeshare. Sure. Get some free stuff, go on a crazy yeah. adventure. Um, or but, yeah, or if you don't have the money to be going to all this stuff, yeah, get some if free you stuff. don't think you can afford to go to the Isla Mujeres, uh, you know, let them hit you up with a timeshare. Oh, yeah. 